Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can manage the look and feel of your SharePoint site. There are several things that you can do in order to change and customize the layout of your SharePoint site. Let's see together every feature and capability that allows you to change the theme, the header, the navigation and the footer. Ok, let's go! Here I am on my PC and I have the site office.com in the browser open. I want to search for a SharePoint site that I already created previously because I want to change the layout and the look. So in order to search this SharePoint site I can easily click on the search box of this site and search for the title of this SharePoint site. Here we go, Global IT. Clicking on the link this will open this SharePoint site. Now I can start to change the look of this site. In order to do that you have to click on the wheel icon in the top right corner and this will open the settings panel. Here you can find the menu item change the look. Let's click on it. Now you can see that you have four options in order to change the look of this site. You can set a theme, you can change the header, the navigation and the footer. Let's explore one by one. Tem allows you to change colors of this SharePoint site. I have now this current tem, as you can see here, already selected. I can click on the link Customize if I want to change a little bit the color and as you can see, I can set red for the main color and this will change accordingly. I have also the ability to change a secondary color called accent, accent color. Going back now, I want to completely change them so then I can switch to the blue for example or orange and as you can see the UI change accordingly. Now I want to set something that change completely my site like dark yellow or dark blue. Let's go with dark yellow, it's pretty nice. As always you have the ability to customize this theme by changing the main color or by changing the accent color. I like this dark yellow so I will save now this theme and I will apply this nice theme to, to this SharePoint site. Now if I refresh this SharePoint site of course I have this new theme set up. It's time to change the header. In order to do that you have to click again on the wheel and then on change the look. In the header section Microsoft has introduced new capabilities. I have for example the ability to change the layout, the background, the display and then I can even choose logos. Let's go with the first section which is layout. I can set a minimal header as you can see or then you can have compact, standard or extended. Extended is pretty cool because it gives you the ability to upload another kind of background image in the header. So I will upload now a new image that I have here available. Uploading this picture, I am able now to, to change and to adjust the focus of this image. I will set this kind of focus. I adjusted now this focus on this image Old setup, I can decide if change the background color, for example I can have a black background color in the header or yellow, I can have a darker gray or another kind of gray. Let's go with the first option available. And then next I am able to change the visibility of the title of this site, I can decide if make it visible or not. Then I can assign a logo thumbnail to this site. This means that uh, when I search this site as a search result will appear this logo. Let me click on change to upload this logo that I already have available here. And there we go, the logo now is added. I can even assign the site logo and I have another logo here available. This is the site logo that will be placed in this area. Then you can decide the logo alignment if you want to have the left, center or right. Ok, all set up for the header, all good, I can click on save and now I have this new beautiful header created for my site. Regarding the navigation, I'll show you now how I structured my navigation for this site. 
you can create three levels maximum in the navigation of items and here we have the first level documents then i created a second level projects enterprise architecture infrastructure and mobility and then we have the last level which is the third one as you can see i added under projects three items project stamp fox and arduino and so on so forth now i want to change a little bit the style of this navigation let me open again the change the look panel and then let me click on navigation here i have two option menu style mega menu and cascading by default you have the mega menu if i go over this menu item documents we can see that the mega menu show up and we have the second level projects enterprise architecture infrastructure and mobility and then we have under every second level we have the third level project stamp fox arduino under project and so on so this is the mega menu but if you want to change the navigation in the cascading style you can do that by selecting this and clicking on save I have now this new navigation and if I go over this arrow I can explore and expand an additional panel that show me how many items are listed under the first level under the parent. Okay let me go again and change the look because I want to set up the mega menu because I like much more. Moving forward with the last option I have the ability to play and to customize the footer. In the footer, I already edited and added some items here. I created, for example, this item about us, our mission, Contoso mission, devices, and so on. Let me click now again on the wheel and change the look to open the footer panel. Here I'm able to disable or enable the footer. Then I can select the layout I can decide to have a simple layout or an extended layout which is a little bit eager and this will allow me eventually to have more items in this folder if i edit now this folder i can for example drag and drop devices under contoso mission and i can have a more complex structure in the folder as well clicking on save now we can see that this new item that I created, devices, and I added under Contoso Mission is properly listed here below. Opening again the layout and the footer, I am able even to add a logo, for example, clicking on change, I can add this logo that I already have available on my PC, and here we go, we have the logo added. Then you have the display name to fill out you can type for example the name of your company and then you can select the color that you want to apply to the footer it's always good to choose a different color that you use in the body for example then i will select the yellow in this case clicking on save now finally i definitely selected a good layout for me for my use case i have done with the, this setup all right, that was a very quick tutorial how you can change the layout of your SharePoint site. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!